Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in uh, Central California and here at uh, beautiful San Joaquin General Hospital. Um, thought I would uh, come to you this morning and tell you uh, tell you what I just got done doing. Um, just got done upgrading a switch I've never upgraded before. So it's our, our VSP switches or the, the fabric switches. Um, don't even tell me what VSP stands for. Virtual services platform, maybe. Uh, there's some extreme guys out there that'll correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but you know, normally when I upgrade a switch, I can just go through the uh, net site now called XIQ site engine. Um, I can go through that and just tell it, hey, here's the image I want to use. This is the switch I want to upgrade schedule it boom it's done i don't have to think about it again it just happens and it works every time um well when i talked to extreme about a problem we had on this switch last week this if you remember the video i did on switch gone mad this is the switch and this was their uh, suggested uh work their suggested solution is to upgrade the firmware and see if it happens again thanks guys will do um so this morning I did that. I upgraded the firmware on the switch. Never done it before. So I just thought I'd walk you through what I had to do to do that. And uh, let me share my screen. Which screen do I want to share? I just want to share this. Boom. There we go. So um, basically, and this is a good idea, by the way. This is my uh, network changes document. I've uh, created a new document. For every change I make, I keep a copy here. Even though we have a change management system, I keep my own copy of exactly what I do so I can back out. Um, and I just remind myself that the change change board meets every two weeks. Um, and we've got a deadline of a week prior to submit any changes to them. Um, and that we have a hospital-wide maintenance window on the first Tuesday of the month, which means at the first Tuesday of every month at 2 a.m., we can do anything we want. We can bring the whole hospital down if we want. We won't, but we could. Um, so, yeah. And then I just have a couple, couple little commands here that I use just because I don't use them very often. I put them up here so I remember <laughs> what they are. Anyway, then I'll just start with the date and the switch I'm going to work on. And you'll say, well, why, see, some of these are highlighted in green. and some aren't. Well, what I do is I put all the commands in that uh, that are needed. And once I execute the command, I highlight, and highlight it in green to know that that command has been executed. So like really some of these should not be highlighted in green. So I am going to unhighlight those because I only really want to highlight the commands that I ran. Um, so I am going to undo some of these. So it'll make it easier to read, too. So let's say no color. And yep, those are OK. So to upgrade this software, one of the first things you have to do, and I don't think I show the command here. Did I do it here? No. So first thing you got to do is FTP the 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 upgrade file to the switch. And it's going to be a, a basically an archive, a compacted archive. TGZ. I'm not a Linux guy. If you, you Linux folks out there know what a TGZ file is, that's what it is. Um, tar and a gzipped tar file, maybe. No, oh, you you know what it is. Um, but to FTP that up, you have to enable FTP on the switch because I don't, I don't leave it enabled normally. So there's a command, I think it's called boot config flags FTP. You issue that on the switch and then it says, um, or then it enables FTP. I don't know why it's boot config. I guess it just stays on through the next boot, you know, uh, and then to disable it, you do no boot config flag. FTP. So I did that. 
Oh, there it is right there. Duh. Um, so this is the command. Yeah, boot config flags FTP. So you do that on the switch first. Go into enable mode. It gets very Cisco-ish on the VSPs. Enable config T, boot config flags FTP. Then you go back to your local PC and you FTP up to the switch. You just go into the switch, log in. Um, you put it in bin mode and then hash. I don't know what the hash does. I'm not an FTP guy, but you do that. And then you put the new um, firmware up there. And you can see it's a TGZ file. And we were using 8.8.1.0, which is what they recommended. So I pushed that up there. Uh, once the transfer finishes, it takes a minute or two. Big file, I guess. Um, let me put on my other glasses because I keep tilting my head to read the screen. I can't see it. Oh, there you go. Reading glasses. So much better. Computer glasses. Um, so after I put it up there, I go back to the switch and do an LS to make sure, you know, it got there. And here's the file that got put up there. That's the one we're going to use. Um, oh, here I have to re-highlight this one in green because this is a command I typed. Uh, and the command is software add. So I'll just go and highlight that in green to say I did type that. So we'll add that software. It goes through and extracts a bunch of information from it, tells you if it's successful or not. In our case, it was. Um, and then you issue it a show software command. And See, it didn't show up in the list before, and boom, where is it? there it is right there. You can see the primary release that we're on right now is 827, and it shipped with 817 when we got it. So I guess GA stands for General Availability. Sounds, sounds legit. Um, so, oh, actually, it looks like it might have shipped with 815. And then they upgraded to 817 and then upgraded to 827 at some point. So now we're at 881. Uh, we can see that there. Well, because we did the work this morning. Sorry, I'm tired. It's 530. Started doing this at 5, got up at 4. Ugh, what a life. Um, it's a network admin life. So anyway, all right. So show software. It, it shows that it's it's been loaded into the into the darn thing. Once that's done, and I did this all ahead of time, by the way. This was all done last last week on both switches. I had to upgrade two switches this morning. So this was all done last week. Um, did that, did that, okay. So then the next command you gotta do is do software activate, and then the name of the release, release you wanna activate. And then at that point, it starts saying it's sending it to the different uh, blades at, at uh, controllers on the switch. So it takes about 30 seconds after you hit that, do that command. Comes back with a message saying that the software will be active on the next reboot. So then you do issue the command reset and then press Y and the switch reboots. And that's when Scott starts spraying, literally. Um, it took about, uh, I say about three minutes rebooted went through its whole thing. I had a constant ping going out to Google um, because this WAN switch, when I say WAN, it's basically our connection back to uh, the county. Uh, San Joaquin County is what uh, what we connect through. Um, so yeah, I had a constant ping going out to the internet and uh, we dropped one packet as the redundant switch took over which was cool. So dropped one packet, pings commenced, switch rebooted three minutes later, um, log back in, and then it puts up an error message saying this, the new uh, firmware will be auto committed in eight minutes. So I could see everything was working. I logged in, everything looked fine on the network management side of things. So the last command you can commit if you like or execute if you like is this software commit and then that commits the software right now instead of waiting eight minutes. So 
Very cool. And then I had to do it all over again on one, this other WAN switch, WAN switch 11. So the two WAN switches, WAN switch 10 and WAN switch 11. What are those? Uh, let me pull up my let me pull up my trusty intermapper here, and I'll show you what they look like. And basically what our, uh, just keep looking at the document there while I pull this up. Uh, SJGH WAN, there we go. Let me pull this up. Be patient with me, please, while I get it pulled up here. There we go. And the only IPs out there are ones that are not mine. Okay. But just in case, you know what? I am going to block off some of this because some of it does have stuff I don't really want to advertise out to the public. Sorry. Um, any IPs there? Yes. Sorry, my core switches. I don't want you to see my IPs of my core switches either. <laughs> All right, hang on. Let me stop the share here real quick. Boom, my big ugly face again. And then I'm going to share the screen again. And this time I'm going to share this guy. All right. So here's what we got over here off to the side. You'll see these one, two, three, four connections. Those go out to my one, two, three, four core switches. And yeah, they just look like switch icons. So you don't really, we don't really care about those. Um, but I have redundant connections to each switch from each core switch. These are the two uh, the WAN switches in question. These, these are ours, and this is our demarcation. This is the edge of our network. Um, so there's a couple of corresponding switches here from the county, also in our racks. So this is up here in our data center, and this is down in our MDF, as denoted by the big blue words there. Um, so the first one I upgraded this morning was the MDF. That's the switch we had problems with. This, this is the switch gun mad right here, that guy. Um, upgraded him first. And since we've got SMLT connections to the other switch, they said upgrade the other switch too. So that's why I upgraded both of them this morning in pairs. So you can see if we lose one switch, like this when switch 10 goes down, which it was, we've still got a path out to the county. And if one of his edge switches goes down, we've still got a path out to the county. Uh, and we have redundant paths out there over Comcast and AT&T. Um, normally, uh, it uses AT&T. Uh, Comcast will act as a backup if AT&T isn't up. So, uh, yeah, there we go. And I don't manage these switches here in orange. That's why they're orange. Those are warnings saying that it's not responding to SNMP because they're not my switches. I don't. I don't manage them. Uh, the downtown guys do that. Although they keep promising me that uh, they'll uh, they'll put some SM, SNMP credentials in there for me so I can monitor them, but they haven't done it yet. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I upgraded WAN switch 10 when I did that and it rebooted. I lost one ping to Google. Um, we go out to the county for internet connection. We go out to the county for connection to them for various services they provide. Um, when the switch came back up, I did. I lost one more ping, and then everything was good. So then I come upstairs, and I did this all via serial console cable, by the way. So I could look at error messages. You know, learned. Hey, I learned. Um, I actually no. Um, so uh, there was no problem. Um, came up here, plugged into the uh, console up here on this guy, issued the same commands, rebooted. Again, lost one ping. This is what I was worried about because I knew, hey, I know we got a connection if this one drops because it was down for two days. Um, wasn't sure about this one, and, but it the, the system worked flawlessly. Uh, we dropped one ping and then they resumed. This guy rebooted and when it was fully up, we dropped one ping and then they resumed. And that's why everything, I guess, the network reconverged and did all its networky things, which uh, I won't go into here because I barely understand them myself. Um, so yeah, then that guy came back up and 
we were back in business, all all upgraded, all done. So all on the, the latest 881 release. And you probably wonder, well, some people get curious about things. So here, here, well, here let me uh, let me stop sharing this and share my big ugly face again. So you wonder what kind of laptop I use? This is it. I mean, it's a, what is it? I have no idea. Precision, Precision 5560, which is probably backwards to you guys. Um, it's like a i7 something or other. I don't know. The labels are peeling off the bottom. Um, I use that and I use uh, this this Franken, Franken cable here. So you get the end that plugs into the console switch and then plugs into an adapter, you know, just a regular old ether uh, RJ45 to RS232 adapter. And then that goes into my old uh, USB to serial adapter. Zoop. And then it goes into this adapter, which adapts to from the old style USB. Sorry, I don't know what these are called. You A plus guys will tell me. Uh, to what is that USB C? What's that? I don't know. So that is my Kluge cable that I use to console into switches. Um, I actually have a USB C to serial cable somewhere. I might have loaned it to Satish when he was here. Hi, Satish, if you're watching. Um, we got to do lunch sometime. Uh, so it might be in his laptop bag still somewhere. So anyway, that's the that's the laptop I used. That's the console cable I used. You saw the commands I used, and that's pretty much a wrap for this morning. Um, I got an extra 20 minutes on my day left here. <clears throat> so, pardon me. Um, thing I'm going to jump into next is upgrading some more APs on the second floor of the main hospital. Um, yeah, we're upgrading all the main hospital APs, and once that's done, that AP migration project is done. So I'll be able to, uh, where is it? Is it on the board here? Yeah, this guy right here, this top line. I'll be able to erase that off my projects. So anyway, um, that's all we got for today, guys. If you made it this far through the video, thank you and God bless you. Um, if you like what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, give me a thumbs up if you thought the video was cool and a thumbs down if you thought it sucked. And uh, if you don't like religious content, Sorry. <laughs> um, I, I pray before every major network event like this. I pray I pray for God's wisdom. I pray for his guidance. Uh, I pray that the system was de designed correctly. And then I just strike out in faith and just do it. And the system worked today. And I truly believe God worked for me. So if you don't have Jesus in your life, get him. Get Jesus. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you all next week. God bless. And...